السلام عليكم ازيكم يا شباب عاملين ايه النهارده ان شاء الله باذن الله اوضح لكم بعض النقاط في شابتر 2 وهو بعنوان اوفر فيو اوف بزنس بروسيس Business process or transaction cycle. Any business has five major transaction cycles. The first cycle is called revenue cycle. In revenue cycle, goods and services are sold for cash or a future promise to receive cash. So, revenue cycle concentrate on selling goods or service to customer and receiving cash in exchange. Second is called expenditure cycle. Expenditure cycle is where companies purchase inventory for resale or raw material to use in the production process in exchange for cash or a future promise to pay cash so expenditure cycle concentrate on either buying raw material that will go in the production process or buying finished good to resell it third production or conversion cycle in conversion cycle raw material are transformed into finished good fourth cycle is human resource or payroll cycle where employees are hired, trained, compensated, evaluated, promoted, and terminated. The last cycle and the fifth cycle is financing cycle. As we know, we can finance our business through two ways. The first way is through selling trades to investors and in exchange we will be paying them dividend. The second way is through taking loans from bank and financial institution and in exchange we will pay them interest after illustrating transaction cycle now let's move to data processing cycle what do we mean by data processing cycle data processing cycle is the operation performed on data to generate meaningful and relevant information data processing cycle consists of four main steps the first step is data input, the second data storage, third data processing, fourth information output. Each step will be illustrated in details. Data input is the first step in the data processing cycle. Data input consists of three steps. The first step is capture the data for each transaction and enter them into the system. In this stage, we try to capture every data about the transaction, especially about the activity, resources, and people interacted with this transaction. The second is make sure captured data are accurate and complete. How could I make sure that the data are accurate and complete? Through two ways. The first way is source data automation. The second is the well designed turnaround document. Source data automation. What do I mean by source data automation? It's the devices capture transaction data in machine readable form at the time and the place of their origin, such as ATMs in the bank, or point of sale scanner used in retail stores, or barcode scanner used in warehouse. Second, a well designed turnaround doc document. What I mean by a turnaround document? A turnaround document or record of a company data sent to an external party and then return it to the system. Such as, for example, a utility bill. A utility bill is sent to the customer and then I receive it with the payment. The third step in data input is make sure company's policies are followed, such as approving or verifying of the transaction is sold. The second step in data processing cycle is data storage. Data storage will change according to the type of accounting information system that we are using. As you all know, data is considered one of the most important resources of any business. We have mentioned before that accounting information system can come in three types. The first type was simple accounting information system. In this system, we depend on papers and pencil. It's just a manual system. The second type was called computerized or complex accounting 
information system. In this system, we depend on computers, high technology, and a very high infrastructure. The third one was a merge between the manual system and the computerized system. So, data storage will change according to each accounting information system that we are using. In the manual accounting information system, data is stored in the form of ledger and journal. Ledger, we have two types of ledger. First, general ledger, and second, specialized ledger or subsidiary ledger. General ledger is contains summary level data for every asset, liability, equity, revenue, and expense account. A subsidiary ledger contains detailed data for any general ledger account with many individual sub-accounts. So the basic difference between general ledger and subsidiary ledger is that general ledger is, an, is for an account as a whole and subsidiary ledger is for an, a client itself. For example, account receivable amount that uh, show in the balance sheet, you will uh, see that's a general ledger account. This number came from the general ledger account. But the subsidiary ledger of the account receivable, every subsidiary ledger has the details of each client and the date of uh, purchase and so on. In a ledger, we store cumulative accounting information. The second form of uh, data storage in the manual accounting information system is the journal. What is a journal? A journal contains the account and the amount it to be debited and credited. Basically, we have two types of journals. First, general journal and second, the specialized journal. General journal is used to record infrequent or non-routine actions such as loans payment, end of period adjustment, closing entries, and so on. For a specialized journal, it's record a large number of repetitive transactions such as sales. <clears throat> in a computerized information system, data is stored in two main forms, master file and transaction file. First, master file. What do I mean by master file? A master file is like a ledger in the manual accounting information system as it stores cumulation about any business. Let's take care that master files are permanent and can exist across physical periods. However, individual master files can be updated and changed frequently. Second, transaction file. Transaction file is considered as journal in the manual accounting information system. Transaction file contain record of individual business transaction that occur during a specific time. The third step in data processing cycle is called data processing. In the first step, which called data input, we try to capture every data about activity resource people considering a transaction. In the second step, data storage, we try to store these data. Now, in the third step, data processing, we are performing a number of activity to process these data. Data processing consists of four main activity. Number one, creating new record, such as adding a newly hired employee to the payroll database. The second activity is called reading, retrieving, or viewing existing data. The third step is calling updating previously stored data. Here we have two types of updating that a uh, company use. First, batch processing. In batch processing, we update according to a period, such as a day or a month. The information or data in batch processing will be only current and accurate after the data have been processed. The second kind of uh, updating is called real-time updating or online updating. In here, we update the data with every transaction. Most companies use real-time updating or online updating because it gives them more accurate data and correct data so the decision maker can make more correct uh, decision. The fourth activity in the data processing is called deleting data, such as deleting the vendor master file 
of all vendors the company no longer does business with. The last and final step in data processing cycle is information output. After we have processed the data, we have information output. Information can come in a three basic form. The first form is document. Documents are record of a transaction or other company data such as checks and invoice. Documents can be printed out or they can be stored as electronic image in a computer. So document can come in two shapes. First, it can be printed out and it will be in paper. Second, it can be a soft copy and it will be on the computer. The second form of information output is called reports. Reports are used by employee to control operational activity and also used by the manager to make decisions and formulate business strategies. The third and final form of information output is database query. Database query is used to provide the information needed to deal with problems and questions that need rapid action or answers. Let's make a quick revision about what I have been saying. First, I started with explaining what a business process is or a transaction cycle is. A transaction cycle consists of five major cycles. The first cycle is revenue cycle. In revenue cycle, goods and services are sold for cash. So we concentrate on selling goods to customer and receiving cash. The second cycle is called expenditure cycle. In expenditure cycle, companies purchase inventory for resale or raw material to use in the production process in exchange for cash or future promise to pay cash. The third cycle called production or conversion cycle. In this cycle, we convert raw material into finished goods. The fourth cycle is human resource or payroll cycle. In this cycle, employees are hired trained, completed, evaluated, promoted, and terminated. The last and final cycle is financing cycle. In this cycle, company try to finance its business, its business through two ways. The first way is through, is through selling uh, shares to investor and in exchange, the company will pay dividend. The second type is through uh, taking loans from banks and financial institutions in exchange for paying interest. Then I explained to you data processing cycle. As I told you before, data processing cycle consists of four steps. The first step is data input. In this stage, we try to capture every data about a transaction. We capture data about uh, activities, resources, and people. Then we moved on to data storage. In data storage, we find that the form of storage will different according to the accounting information system we are using. If we are using a manual accounting information system, then we will be using storage such as ledger or journal. But if we are using uh, a, com a computerized or a complex accounting, accounting information system, then we will depend on what's called uh, master file and transaction file. The third step was data processing and I told you that data processing consists of four uh, main activity. Uh, one was creating new record, uh, two was reading, retrieving existing uh, data, uh, third was updating, fourth was deleting, deleting existing data. And finally, I illustrated information output and I told you that information output would be in three main form. First, document, second, report, third, uh, query database. Thank you for watching. Wish you all best luck. See you next time.